Institute for Mineral and Energy Resources is an exciting new initiative of the University of Adelaide. It's been created as part of the university's investment of 50 million over five years in research excellence and the tackling of ground challenges. The biggest challenge for the institute is to make sure that it is relevant to industry and government and can produce results that provide an economic benefit to the state and to industry. In Australia, there's a great connection between the energy intensity of the mineral production cycle uh, and, and, and the economics of, of mineral production. So bringing the minerals and energy uh, facets together and also uh, bringing in all the disciplines, the science and technology of mineral uh, exploration, uh, mineral extraction, uh, petroleum exploration and petroleum recovery uh, under one banner uh, really provides uh, an attractive uh, and multidisciplinary approach to um, some of the real critical issues that are facing the world. The Centre for Energy Technologies has got four priority areas. One of them is in novel hybrids of thermal technologies combining solar, combustion and geothermal. Another is in wind, particularly on micro wind. The third is in energy storage, things such as hydrogen. And the final one is in alternative transport fuels, uh, particularly things like microalgae. We can put a, a, a new perspective and bring some really exciting ideas together to create novel opportunities and new ideas. The impacts of, of the research are actually huge. We think that in South Australia we have uh, a very, very large mining and exploration sector with uh, several dozen uh, new projects out there being explored for. We believe that our expertise, our skills and our facilities as well uh, can greatly assist with exploration and also uh, with better value out of existing mining projects. South Australia is, is home to one of the world's largest geothermal energy resources. We're sitting on a cusp right now. We have, the, we have the geothermal energy there. We can see it in the ground. Well, we can perceive it in the ground, but we are facing the challenges to actually understand the geothermal systems well enough to deliver that energy to the surface and allow us to generate electricity. Research is extremely important to both industry and government because without it, we can't advance our knowledge in the minerals and energies industry. We are working very closely with industry uh, through a broad range of projects and partnerships. The industry can identify core expertise and capabilities within the university by going through the institute as a, a conduit into the research across the whole of the university. At present we have a large number of projects together with industry but we're looking for ways to expand and look for new opportunities, new fields of research beyond what we are currently doing. As an ecologist, we now need to think beyond the science and start thinking about real world problems a lot more. And the Institute for Mineral and Energy Resources provides a great opportunity for us to do that. IMA is being um, very innovative and forward thinking by putting forward quite a, a large environmental component into the Institute. Uh, well, the Institute for Minerals and Energy Resources has been established at a time when we're seeing massive growth uh, in uh, the minerals industry and the resources sector, uh, and also in relation to the demand for new re renewable sources of energy. So it's appeared on the landscape at just the right time. Well, one of the big challenges uh, facing both the minerals and energy resources uh, development sector is workforce planning and workforce development. Uh, we're looking at how you can better measure the demand for those skills so that uh, governments and uh, education and training providers can better respond to industry's needs. One of the exciting opportunities for the Institute into the future is how to integrate renewable energy sources with the energy intensive processing and mining techniques in mineral production. Uh, if the energy prices increase, then that will have a negative impact uh, on mineral production. What we want to do is to build on our successes, but also look into new areas, new opportunities, where our research and our expertise can be a benefit to others. 
So one of the other things that this Institute for Minerals and Energy Resources is going to be able to do is actually bring industry's needs next to the experts who can supply. And uh, in a way which doesn't cost the earth, and in a way that's affordable.